Okay, let's see. The things I miss about gang life. I just can't believe you did it. I just... I feel... lighter. I really do. Ronnie came by while you were away. She said Edwin can't even consider helping us at all. He's in a state of, uh... despair. Look, uh, I know this sounds, uh... petty compared to what you've already done, but, well... his, uh... His dog is missing. Yeah, those people are called weirdos. <laughs> I don't care if Edwin wants to marry his dog, right? If it puts his gang on our side, we all win. Thanks, friend. I know it's silly, but, uh, hey, it means something to Edwin, so what can we do? They have no idea who you are. I'm, I'm sure they're taking out revenge on literally every single vault dweller they see right now. Others, too, maybe. I know it sounds like we made things worse, but we have to finish it. We have to cut off the other two heads. And then they're just idiots again. I think its name is Noodles. I... I'm 60% sure of that. Anyway, uh, good luck. So, when Ronnie said dog, what she meant was a freaking mole rat? Seriously. Well, I'm sure it'll uh, find its way home, Dad, when now that you've freed it. <laughs> Yuck. But in the meantime, I've heard the Blood Eagles have recruited a mechanic named Star. And they plan to have her help take over a radio station. We can't let that happen. If the Blood Eagles get a radio station up and running, they can literally broadcast their threats across Appalachia. Everyone who hears the message will either run away or join up to avoid being killed. She joined up about two weeks before I did. She's so amped they didn't even need to juice her up with the buff out to mess with her mind. I once saw her kick a defenseless woman off of a cliff. I mean, who the hell does that? She needs to fall. <laughs> Hard. Yeah, it's the only way. Want anything before you head out? You'll be back after these messages, right? <laughs> That's uh, what, I, what I heard people used to say all the time. Stars no longer with us, I assume? <laughs> Good. Well, honestly, I'm really glad you're back. Ronnie is desperate for our help. Turns out Edwin's much sicker than everyone thought, and... Well, 
I don't think he's fit to run their gang any longer. I'm not sure. His health has gone downhill since coming to Appalachia. Probably because he insisted on hanging around the ash heap. Well, I was thinking about that. There was a Saddler family that came to Appalachia looking for treasure a while back. And they, uh, brought their Miss Nanny with them. They, uh, don't need it anymore. I was thinking, maybe Ronnie could use it to help with Edwin. Don't say stuff like that, or I'll be forced to restore my bad reputation by... Kicking a cat or something. <laughs> oh, in all seriousness, uh, Edwin doesn't deserve to go out like that. I mean, he was uh, a buddy, and I want to do everything I can to make amends with the guy. Because they're all dead. I, uh, I killed them. I killed them all for their chems and a couple of caps. It's a memory I wish I could forget. Honestly, I have no idea if it's still working, or if someone's wandered by and decided to strip it for parts. Look, if it doesn't, we just have to move on without them. Maybe we can convince Meg to help us. Well... I don't know much about the thing. Even though it seemed attached to the family, uh, you know, it didn't try to fight back when I, um, when I killed everyone. You know, when I, uh, put it all together, the Miss Nanny, the, the Chems, the family must have been sick. I murdered sick, innocent people in cold blood. <laughs> well, this is what addiction does to you. You know. How the Blood Eagles strip away your humanity. Now, they need to die. All of them. I remember this place well. Do I deserve the memories replaying in my mind? Reliving what I did there? Probably. But I gotta forgive myself, too. Not entirely, but... Enough. Good. Well, in the meantime, I'll, uh, put out some feelers for information on the rest of the Blood Eagles' leadership.
Oh, I'm glad you're back. Oh, I've got some news you need to hear. No, not okay at all. It's Frankie, my kid brother. I told that idiot to leave Foundation and hide, but he wouldn't listen. And now the Blood Eagles have him, and I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. This is all my fault. Slow down? Why? But don't you get it? They're gonna torture him to get to me. Okay, look. First, they kill your heart. They make you forget everything you love. And when you're the most vulnerable, they mess with your brain. Well, I have no idea. Look, all I know is he's gone. And I don't know what they're doing to him. <sighs> you're a real friend. You truly are. Okay, Beckett. Breathe here. Come on, let's see. Let's see, he's a smart kid. I mean, maybe he'll escape on his own, right? I mean... No. No. God damn it! Oh my god. I just keep imagining the terrible things they're doing to him. I, uh... Oh god, I can't think. I can't think. Frankie? <laughs> no, 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 there's no way. They're holding him for leverage, plain and simple. And, 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 and now that their buff-out supply is gone, God knows how they're gonna mess with his mind. Phew. Yeah, yeah. No, you're, you're right. I can't let this get to me. Think. I need to think. Wait, wait! I got it. Okay, I know what we need to do. Okay, the Blood Eagles have another leader. Uh, some sicko they call the Eye. Okay, he's the gang's uh, information extractor. Okay, you need to find him. He's elusive, but I know where he does some of his worst shit to people. It's a place they call the Lab. Yeah, I was there once. I'll never forget the stench of that place. Smelled like death, come to think of it. I remember seeing a bunch of holotapes there. The Eye, uh, he liked to record his... Uh, sessions. Uh, you may want to grab whatever you find. Thank you, friend. I knew I could depend on you to have my back. Just... Do what you need to do, and come back safe. I don't want to lose you to those maniacs. I'll head to Foundation. See if I can get a hold of some of Frankie's friends, or rummage through his stuff. I'll see what I can turn up. Need anything before you head out? It's not like the Blood Eagles keep a lot of records. Um, everybody moves around a lot, and there isn't that much structure outside of the leadership. It might be a gamble, but it's the best chance we've got. Just hurry. There's no telling how long my brother will be able to hold out. Things near. Ah, oh, fuck it! Hit me again! Frankie Beckett, my brother is one of you. Just 
Bring him in here. He can explain everything. Drink? No, thanks. I don't do chems. My brother does them, and he's always getting hurt and sick, so I don't. If it's all the same to you, no thanks. Okay. More. I don't feel okay. You didn't find Frankie either. Damn it! Well, Foundation wasn't a complete bust. I mean, no one knew where Frankie went, but I did find this holotape. Seems Frankie had a girlfriend. Never thought I'd live to see the day. Oh, poor kid. I hope we can get him out of this mess, if he's still alive. Nope, just the holotape. I think maybe they kidnapped her to get to him, but... I mean, that's what they do. That's what they're doing to me right now. I mean, I don't know. I don't know anything other than I feel like this is all... my fault. Wait. This is a recording of one of the eyes sessions at the lab. I don't know if I'm ready to listen to that. You know, but I, I suppose I'll have to. All right, while I'm doing that, I need you to help out with a new problem. Words come down that the Blood Eagles are stockpiling poison to use on settlers' food supplies. We can't let that happen. Look, friend, I understand the impatience, but I, I do, I do, okay? I want closure on Frankie. And I want to watch the Blood Eagles burn. See, the thing is... I need to be a better person, too. Okay? I used to be one of the brainless maniacs that would poison these innocent people with glee. Okay, but today... I decided to be a decent person. Who's gonna help some settlers live to see another day. All right, and I asked my friend to help. Well, see, he knows a lot of people who see and hear things differently than you and I. Sometimes those things are meaningful. So, maybe, doesn't hurt to ask. All right, sounds good. After I listen to the recording, I'll keep looking for Sage. I could use his, uh, sense of humor right now. Actually, I hadn't thought of that. Damn. Well, we'll just have to see it through. We can't miss any opportunity to find him. Just be careful, okay? <laughs> you might as well ask me, why is it bright when the sun shines? Okay, the Blood Eagles are insane. All right, after they plant the poison, They'll probably hide nearby just to watch the settlers die one by one. It's a game to them. Aww, yeah, that's the sweetest thing anybody ever said to me.
good one. Oh boy. Uh, heads up. Here we go. <clears throat> I heard your sweet voice, Beckett. <laughs> Is it time? Look, I don't want to ask, but uh, I just have to. Sage, time for what, buddy? Oh, time for the air to breathe into us instead. Time for the rise to sun, for the memories to forget us. Uh, yeah, um, oh, okay, no. Nope, it's not time. All right, look, I need your help, okay? The Blood Eagles have my brother. Can you help me find him, or what? Oh, a brother found, a brother lost, or... Somewhere in between, perhaps. <laughs> Sage, man, I appreciate your help, okay? I, I do, but if you don't give me a straight answer, so help me, I'm gonna pull your heart out through your ribcage. What? Heart? Yes, the heart is at the key. Beckett, the answer is simple. The claw is meant for you, and will be exactly where your heart left it. I don't understand, okay? W where my heart left it? Where my heart left my, my, my brother? Okay, that's all you're gonna tell me, isn't it? <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Bye, I guess. Thanks. Damn it. You're too late. I'm already halfway drunk. Okay, I'm not sure if any of that was very helpful. Why I put up with that guy, I'll never know. I need to stew on what he said, I suppose. The claw is meant for you. And it is exactly where your heart left it. Hey, I know the claw is the last of the three Blood Eagle leaders, but... Is meant for you? I mean, what does that mean? Uh, he's the only Blood Eagle leader I never got a chance to meet. But I heard he's the worst of the three. See, the blood gathers the recruits. The eye extracts valuable information, and the claw... Oh, he just tortures for pleasure. Real stand-up kind of guy. <sighs> Damn to find, though. Look, Sage may sound crazy, but he's never steered me the wrong way. Oh, we, we have to trust this will lead us in the right direction. Yeah, well, I... <laughs> that's gonna happen no matter what Sage says. What about the bit with the heart? Where your heart left it, he said. It's almost as though he's tying the claw and Frankie together. As if they were... Holy shit. Holy shit, that's it. Okay, Sage was saying that Frankie is being held by the claw. This is perfect. I know exactly what we need to do. I'll grab Ronnie and track down exactly where the claw is keeping Frankie. In the meantime, I need you to hunt down and kill the eye. You think you can handle it? Look, I, uh, I can't thank you enough for everything you've done. Sticking by me like this while I bark orders at you? <laughs> Hell, you're more than just a friend to me. You're like family. Thank you. Anything you need before you go? Look, please, just be careful. All right, last thing I want to do is lose someone else that means a lot to me. <laughs> 